Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about overspending in Magic the Gathering in year 2016. This has actually been a problem. I did overspend on my budget. I went way over budget and there's one set in particular that caught me by surprise because I did not expect to buy any of Conspiracy 2. Uh, Conspiracy 2 was not high on my radar of sets I needed to buy, but it turned out that Conspiracy 2 was very, very good. It had the show and tell, which I needed a play set of. It had some really good EDH cards that I wanted. And surprise, surprise, I bought a ton of Conspiracy 2 uh, when in fact I had budgeted no money. And this was in combination of Kaladesh. Kaladesh I was not impressed with and I was not super impressed with uh, even the masterpieces of Kaladesh. So the money I budgeted for Kaladesh and his masterpieces, I just bought Conspiracy 2 instead. And boxes of Conspiracy 2 got were $80 and under. They're still $80 and under right now. But as a set, it was extremely strong. You can get a box of Conspiracy 1 for $80 and under. Uh, there were some cards that I bought too much of. Battle for Zendikar was crazy. I had a friend who spent $5,000 on Battle for Zendikar and we opened half, like one third of the cases on this channel. Battle for Zendikar, when the people talked about, you know, expeditions, people talked the first time, where it was super hyped up, not like today where it's just like, oh, masterpiece, who cares? Uh, no, no, people were super hyped up for expeditions back then, for lands, foil for lands, and, you know, cards that seemed very good at the time. You had Gideon, which is still good, but you had Draena, you had uh, a lot of, you know, the lands. At the end of the day, it was a terrible event. Battle for Zendikar, if I could do over again, I would not buy very much of. And Conspiracy 2, I would not buy as much, but I would still buy some. The Commander decks were much better than I expected, so I did buy, end up buying a few Commander decks. Uh, F and M, and my place got more expensive uh, because the business, I think, was doing not as well. So that also contributed to a lot of costs. Um, F and M just got more, ex more expensive and they really pushed people to buy stuff, which I don't agree with, but that's my opinion. And yeah, so I did buy some older boxes, but the most, the majority of the older boxes I currently have, I just bought when they wore out. So Battle for Zendikar, I remember this was in grad school, right, my first year of grad school. Um, Battle for Zendikar, not Battle, original Zendikar came out. Conflux was fun. Uh, you have Onslaught, so I was able to get a box of Onslaught for really cheap, and that is what I played in, I want to say I was a sophomore in high school. And each of these boxes are so fun because they are attached to, I, I know what year I purchased them in because I know who I played with, and I knew, know who I drafted with, I know who I opened these packs with. I spent way too much money on boxes and things of this nature. Um, Battle for Zedekar was the number one cause and Conspiracy 2 was number two. Now, a Eternal Masters reprint, I did buy some to hold because I feel like it would be kind of fun and it's a cheaper version of what I'm doing, which is when, you know, buying a box, holding it, and then when my high school friends come over, we'll crack open some uh, Onslaught, we'll crack open some in Invasion, we'll crack open something I have and it doesn't necessarily have to be expensive. Uh, I don't know where the Nemesis box is, but the Nemesis boxes are not crazy expensive because there's no good cards there. But it's still a fun set because my friends and I played it. I bought too many Magic cards in 2016, I'm going to cut back in 2017. And the reason for Battle for Zen card really hyped me up. I, now I always tell you guys, don't believe the hype, but I fell right for the hype. Which is ironic, but also, you know, everyone fell for the hype. Now I'm over the masterpieces, I'm over the expeditions, I don't really, I'm not going to fall for that. And one of the things I had to do was I had to give up standard. So I, again, I did not buy a booster box of Caldez. I bought the cards I needed, I bought the cards for my EDH deck, but I didn't even buy cards for my standard deck. Um, sometimes I trade for them, but otherwise I don't have them. So anyway, so leave me a comment below, how did you spend too much money in Magic Gathering in 2016? How much money did you spend? I will be very honest, I don't know. I need to calculate, but I would imagine it is a lot. But it, it pales in comparison to one of my friends. One of my friends bought $5,000 of Battle for Zendikar. 
then he bought another 4,000 of Oath of the Gatewatch. Because he was expecting, you know, this expedition, she was going to long-term hold, which I don't agree with anymore. I think expeditions are not a long-term hold. Um, and I don't... Uh, I just have a gut feeling that it is... They will go down in price drastically very soon. Anyway, bye guys.